The Burmese Harp is a film by director Kon Ichikawa. It's a Japanese war film. Uh, now I've, I've watched uh, Fires on the Plane and a few others now, so I'm getting more into this director's work. But this one is about Mizushima. He is a lowly private who learns to play the harp, the Burmese harp, and he uses it to play music to boost the morale of his soldiers, of his company, as they uh, walk through World War II uh, to Burma. The Japanese army surrenders to the British forces at the end of World War II. So this is a different kind of film than a war film. It's not like Fires of the Plain in the sense that it's about like the hell of war. This one is more about like the aftermath of war and the effects it has on the populace and the soldiers and the people involved. So after Mizushima's uh, company surrenders to the British. They're sort of kept as prisoners of war, and it's sort of like a transient state where they're not sure what's going to happen. They, they could be killed at any time. They could not, uh, they're not sure what's going to happen uh, until Mizushima is volunteered to uh, help another Japanese company who refuses to believe the surrender order and he has to convince them to basically surrender peacefully and they're too proud. So it's a really interesting part of the movie. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, Mizushima uh, disguises himself as a Burmese monk. So it's dealing with like the, the aftermath of the war is pretty rough on him. It's gorgeously shot. Uh, the movie has some rich themes here and there, but I uh, definitely didn't like it as much as Fires on the Plane. That one was more depressing. This one was more thoughtful and philosophical. Uh, but it, you know, the second half really slows down though. And I still enjoyed it, but overall I thought it was a little lacking in some areas. So I give uh, the Burmese Harp a six out of 10.